Deutschland hat sich entschieden, eine Germany has decided to turn away from the energy mix it's had for decades, that is mainly fossil fuels and nuclear energy. There is no other comparable country in the world that is forcing through such a radical change in its energy production. Put simply, by 2050, 80% of electricity in Germany must be generated using renewable sources. Along with the difficulties of practical implementation, communicating this project effectively is an enormous challenge because it will have an impact beyond Germany's borders. It is important that we it's important that we make it clear to our partners that we don't just see the energy vendor as a German project, it's also a European project. The point is to connect up networks and really create a win-win situation for everyone. After all, the energy markets in Europe are not isolated, they are more and more connected. That means each country has to decide what kind of energy mix it wants, but it would be wrong to think of each country as a separate unit. Germany laid the foundations for this revolution back in 2000 with a law promoting renewable energy. Today, 25% of Germany's electricity is renewable. In some places, things have been taken even further, for example, the town of Wolfhagen. By 2015, all of the town's electricity will come from renewable sources. The theory that we only have to use a fraction of the energy that shines on this planet and our energy problems would be solved always sounds so abstruse and vague. Take Wolfhagen, though, and you can see that making 100% of electricity supplies renewable is actually really easy. We have four wind turbines and an 18 hectare area for a total area of 110 square kilometers. So you can see that you don't have to cover the whole of Wolfhagen to generate enough energy for the town. There's something else about Wolfhagen that's very special. People are actively taking part in the energy revolution. 25% of the population have acquired stakes in the town's energy company. People loved the idea of being able to invest in a cooperative model. And the cooperative grew very fast. We now have some 670 members, and every week there are people wanting to join. The last dividend came in at 3%, and its financial reserves are growing, which will enable it to invest directly in training courses on issues such as saving energy and direct subsidies. Any member who buys an A3 Plus refrigerator gets a 50 euro subsidy. Wolfhagen goes to show that the energy revolution can indeed be put into practice. But it also shows how important communication and citizen involvement are. The small town is something of a pilot, a Japanese delegation has already visited, others are to follow. The energy vendor may be a German project, but it's an opportunity for the whole of Europe and beyond.